so let's start with your character. Tell us who you play and a little bit about her. Uh, Antiope is the Queen's, Hippolyt Queen Hippolyta's sister. So my niece, young Diana, is begging to be trained. Please take me, I want to be a warrior like you, and the sister uh, is staunchly against it. And I go behind her back and prepare my young niece to be the fiercest warrior of all time because war is ensuing. And she wants to make sure she's protecting herself. And tell us about the dynamics of the women on this island and what their relationships are like and what, what is it that they are, they are striving for? Well, they know that a war is come from one of the gods and this, this is you know, the mythological part of the story. And Antiope is the general of the Amazon army so she needs to make sure everyone is on their game. And that's pretty much what the opening of the movie is about, is no one is good enough yet. So she gets, gets the whip out. And she, you can do better, you can do better. Yeah, she's amazing at that. I mean, I'm always amazed when I see you on screen because you, you look incredible all the time. And there had to have been some preparation for some of the physicality in this role, though, too. So, and even emotional preparation. So, what did you do to get yourself into that place? Well, we all did the same physical training. We did horseback riding and weightlifting and martial arts. All the battle sequences were choreographed. Um, you know, diet, high calories every day, that kind of stuff. And. To have that team of women all in support of one another was incredible. It was like being on a professional football team. Everybody's got each other's back. There wasn't any competition. We all wanted each woman to do their best. I could see it. There's a lot of different, I think, themes to this story and very relevant themes. Um, but what, what, what is really at the center of this story? I mean. This female superhero represents love, equality, and justice. That's what Wonder Woman symbolizes. But by the end of the movie, you, you see her conviction. She just wants a future of better human beings. Yeah. And the, the, uh, even though she is a, it's, she's a woman, there's there's a universal appeal to this character, whether it be boys or men, women or girls. Why do you feel that there is such a universal appeal to her? She's so relatable. Gal playing Wonder Woman is also perfectly cast. But to be that relatable and accessible, there's no gender bias in that. You're, you know, she's not, she's not angry. She's fierce and convicted and she believes in spreading the love and not the hate. And can you go into the relationship with your sister, who's the queen? What is their, what is their dynamic? The two sisters have opposing ideas of how to raise young Diana. And of course the mother uh, that Connie Nielsen plays, Hippolyta, she believes in protecting her daughter by keeping her away from the knowledge of war and never having to set foot on the front lines. And Antiope uh, feels the antithesis. She said, you need to therefore train her to be the fiercest warrior so that she can't protect herself. And why do you feel that this, this story is coming out, although it's been told many times, it's coming out at, uh, what do you feel is the relevancy of this, of this story to today? Why it's so timely. Um, I think we, we all in this world need a little bit more of that message. Love, equality, and justice. I think that. And so, speaking of that, what do you, not hope, but what do you feel people will take away from this? Besides it being entertaining and fun, there's, there's a little more depth to it. So do you hope that they'll, what do you hope that they'll walk away with? I hope they get the message of what I just said before is that you, by the end, you, you do see 
that her relentlessness, that Wonder Woman's relentlessness is only for the future of the, the betterment of the people. 